Cassetto and UDM to Ramaphosa, hand handle over to police over Basas ideals. President Cyril Ramaphosa is in the firing line over his son's questionable dealings with controversial company Basasa as Kasadu, and the United Democratic Movement UDM call on the president to hand Endel over to the police. On Wednesday, Ramaphosa came under heavy scrutiny and criticism after Endel's confession, a U-turn from his previous statement that he was paid R2 million in a deal with Basasa, a company that has confessed to bribing people in return for stay tenders. Kasadu also asked the Yank to act against children of their senior leaders who get business simply because of their parents' positions in the governing party. Kasadu's spokesperson says Pamela singled out former Yank President Jacob Zuma's children, including Dujazane Zuma, who had business dealings with the Guptas. The Yank has created a culture of princelings. The Yank has to arrest that culture. This matter was raised with President Ramaphosa. We expect him to honor that, if we are to take him seriously," Pamela said. Pamela was adamant that Ramaphosa must act against his son. We can't have different standards for President Ramaphosa's son. We asked for action to be taken against Dujazane Zuma for his role in state capture. We want the same to happen to President Ramaphosa's son," an adamant Pamela said. Zuma also weighed in on the matter when asked to comment on the latest revelations involving Andal. We hope justice will prevail," he said. The Zondo Commission on Wednesday also heard that R500000 Andal received from Basasa was illegal and could have been laundered. Former Basasa auditor Pete Venter testified that Gavin Watson, chief executive of the integrated management services firm now known as African Global Operations Ago, intended to disguise the nature of the payment that came directly from his personal bank account. UDM leader Bantu Halamissa said he was not surprised by Endel's admission. I think the whole thing is rehearsed. At the beginning, he Endel denied he was doing business with Basasa. It looks like a cooked-up statement, Halamissa said. He said it was now up to Ramaphosa to clear up the mess and take his child to the police station as he had earlier promised when quizzed in Parliament. Halamissa said the revelations were stinking and he was waiting on the findings of the Zando Commission. The public protector is also investigating the matter. Let us wait and see. We are too late to make a call for President Ramaphosa to step down. Let the voters decide," he said. Ramaphosa J.R. refuted any allegations of wrongdoing, especially claims that he used his proximity to his father for the benefit of Basasa. I wish to put on record the following facts, I have never offered to use my influence to assist a go or any other company to secure tenders, nor have I ever been in a position to do so. My company, Ukraine, has never conducted any business with government or state-owned entities and has never entered into an obviously conflicted business arrangement within any section of the South African or any other government. And all said it was a matter of public knowledge that the R500000 was a donation to the CR17 campaign and was distinct from and unrelated to the contract that my company had with African Global. He said his partnership with AGO was limited to work in the rest of Africa. I had no intention to partner with AGO on any business in South Africa. Ramaphosa spokesperson Kusela Daiko confirmed Endel's version that he concluded a business deal with AGO in December 2017 to conduct business operations in East Africa. Ramaphosa said he only became aware of the deal in September last year after rumors his son was a recipient of R500000 from Visasa. Endel explained to the president the nature of the business and showed him a copy of the contract. She said Endel's explanation prompted the president's parliamentary reply on November 6. Daiko added that the R500000 donation was sought without the president's knowledge. Ramaphosa was still committed to appear before the Zondo Commission, 